All right, guys, welcome back. Practice number 30 going down right now. Jacksonville Jaguars practice series. Getting it. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day here. Juan Dillon kicking things off, throwing things up the Denard Robinson on the screen play, and he goes ahead, takes a 37 yards up the right side for a first down. Beautiful. 43 yards uh, from us to the end zone at the moment. I'm perfectly happy to just take my sweet old time getting it to the end zone because we, of course, as always, do not want to give this dangerous, dangerous practice team any time with the ball if we can avoid it. Play clock hits one. We give it to Robinson, and we get a great couple blocks from Blackman, from Marie sealing the edge very nicely as Bruce Campbell, 15 yards for him and we're going to quickly grab an itty bitty little thumbnail just at the point of attack because there are some unsung heroes on this team who really don't get enough credit particularly a dude like bruce campbell who came into this season um at the last moment um when we discovered the injury uh to eugene monroe that was going to keep him out for the entire 2015 season um, and Campbell just comes in. Uh, all we did was give up a fourth rounder for him, and yet he comes in and just plays phenomenally, which is wonderful. Clock running still, which is wonderful. We want this clock to keep running a, a, just about as much as we can keep it running. Um, we're waiting for the play clock to come down again. Um, I'd love to get this one into Marcel Reese. Um, if not, we got Corey Fuller in the slot, and Reese underneath, that's perfect. Oh, he gets separated from the football unfortunately that would have been very nice right to the middle of the field five yard gain and actually what hurts more than the yardage at that point because because he's not getting any yards of first down not the end of the world um is that the clock stops that costs us an entire down and oh middle linebacker coming through the hole fortunately clock's running but unfortunately we we we, we don't gain anything ouch so here we go we got we got to put the ball in the air now third and ten under three minutes left, which is great. If we can get a first down here, this this practice session could very well be over. But unless we do, we're kicking a field goal and then watching the practice team ram the ball down our throats. Hopefully, we're able to get a first down here. I'd love it if the practice team sends some heat, opened up some passing lanes, and boom, right in the middle, Derek Carrier makes the catch, holds onto the football, and that will get us to the two-minute warning. 13 seconds left perfect we're just going to call a place that the clock speeds up just a little bit a little bit and we'll get to the two minute warning in nine seconds here we go we'll count down the time bada boom bada boom bada boom da boom bum. i should edit some elevator music at times when i have to wait for the clock to run <laughs> there we go two minute warning at the 13 yard line we'll uh we'll call just an i formation play we'll uh we'll get steven ridley into the game here our power back and just have him run ISO just right up the gut, right behind Rob Hardy, right behind Brandon Mosley, Marcel Reese, all of those big cats. And look at the room that he's got. He gets laid out there by the free safety, but not before he gets five yards, which is wonderful. That will allow us to continue to run the clock down. What I love most about this situation is that we have uh, three yards before the goal line or if we, uh, or when we make it, we'll be able to, uh, to hopefully get a first down without scoring a touchdown. That will for sure end the practice scenario. Until then, we'll just keep biding our time, holding out, uh, for, uh, holding out for extra time to run off the clock. Uh, three interior defensive linemen for the practice team on this one. Interesting alignment. They are aligned very tightly. Will likely cause us to bounce outside, and we do that. Ridley. Nice job. He puts his head down, doesn't blow up the tackler. In fact, gets blown up himself. But what I like about that is that this uh, will give us an opportunity uh, to run the ball for just one yard, get that first down. The practice team just used their first timeout. If we can get a first down here, which we do, but not a touchdown, perfect. That will end the practice scenario uh, for us because that means we will be able to take a knee, uh, the practice team will call their final timeout. Two knees later, boom, we kick the field goal, and we take it. Tied up on offense. Going to be a success. 
right here and now. We just got to take two knees. And again, as I said, we'll, uh, we'll be just fine. Wish I could pop some elevator music into, uh, into the last minute of this video. If you guys want to, to fast forward ahead to see the actual kick, or if you want to fast forward and just check out the next video in the playlist if you guys are into that, or if you just want to actually just sit and watch with me and listen to me talk, that is totally cool. Um, I'm not here to judge, so there you have it. Um, missing from this video, this is week 15's practice uh, for those of you keeping score at home. So we do not currently have Drick Haskell healthy. Uh, he's out weeks f uh, 15 to 17. Um, the ailment uh, for him, I think, is a dislocated something or other. I have it in front of me right here. It's a dislocated elbow. So three weeks for a dislocated elbow. He's out. Corey Fuller drew in in that spot. Uh, he did not get a chance to catch a pass today, but maybe he will tomorrow for Thursday's practice. Um, and here we go. Ten seconds left on the clock. Justin Tucker in to kick this one up and through. Uh, this will be an attempt from just 24 yards out. No excuse for missing if he does. Here we go. Zeros on the clock. Tucker up and in. Jags win. Jags win. 10-7 the final score. Until tomorrow, I'm Tuxedo T-shirt. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'm out.